good evening uh, today we'll be looking into the actis 7c e globe g2 so this is uh, the basic screen right now we are at israel and the gps is failed that is why on the port side of the screen you are having all um, values in orange so this is basically the main screen on the top corner right side you will be having split mode if i click it i will have a split mode next will be uh, sailing mode sailing mode is basically the mode that you will be using while you are uh, you have already made a passage and you are using it using the screen for navigation <coughs> next will be the planning mode planning mode is basically for you to create a route or a user chart and this will be a route you can either create a new route using this option load a route using this option then once you close it the one that has been loaded will go away suppose i want uh, my last voyage i'll just check this route so the whole list comes up and you can see on the bottom of the screen itself there are erbl edit check show routes pick chart settings go to ship and on top there are save duplicate reverse delete link user charts so if i i'll go into this as you go along next will be the chart loader chart loader is basically the screen that will show me uh, how i can install a chart the inventory of all my charts on board the report of all uh, updates then the settings will be the place where i can browse uh, the usb that i will be plugging in to install the charts then the chart one this will be the color test and this will be the index next will be nav text my vessel is having nav text integrated with my actis so this basically allows me to directly view the nav text messages onto my screen next option will be view alerts these are the alerts that has occurred while my vessel uh, was at anchor then will be settings settings will have my system settings aas data for own ship and aas and arpa target association criteria system settings will allow me to use either the left handed or right handed mouse the input the uh, the screen is not touch screen but they have given the option for touch screen then the brilliance con control utc time settings this is the place i will change suppose right now israel is at uh, minus 2 so i have kept it as 2 degree east if i had kept it as uh, 3 degree east the time would have been time would have been you can see on the uh, left side of the screen the time would have been Uh, 2350 because it would it would have been added to 3 3 hours would have been added to the gmt then under settings comes velour point this is uh, where i will put input my velour point distance then the system compliance this is the place where the whole uh, details of the system <coughs> the <coughs> s s52 presentation library editions will be shown you can see the presentation library 4.0.3 uh, this whole thing i have explained uh, while i was making a video on np133c so you will have to check it either uh, with your along with you, you will have to check it first with the iho then with the uh, system uh, the which, whichever system you are using we are using 7c so we will go to 7c's uh, website and check it and you will have to check it on your system the onboard system what edition it is so three both all three should comply with each other then this will be the software version so this is the current edition of my software and kernel version next comes toolbar management you can see s mode sailing mode planning mode under the sailing mode if i click this one under the s mode traffic if i click or unclick this option will not come 
if i unclick the traffic erbl zoom display nav pick chart settings and i go to s mode those options have been deleted from the bottom screen again if i go back to checking uh, and i go back you can see everything has come back on the bottom of the screen this is the toolbar management same for sailing mode i can click or unclick in the sailing mode all these options are available at the bottom of the screen if you go and uncheck it i can <coughs> take out those options from my screen this is what uh, the toolbar management is for s mode sailing mode and planning mode next is a safety function enable mov button if i enable this mov button the mov uh, manor board icon will always stay on my screen you can see the M manor board icon has come up on the port side of the screen L port uh, after of the screen you can see the mov button has come up so i'll just show you i'll uncheck this and this option has gone next will be my license information and in uh, there is nothing for me to change here this all these have been given to me by uh, my chart supplier and when the ecdis has been installed then comes the info label sailing mode in the sailing mode what all info will come up so you can see in the sailing mode some options have come up here 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven options. If I go and uncheck it, this will not come up. Next will be the profiles. Profiles is basically for you uh, to update a profile. It's basically like your system. If you want one system setting, you can use the profile. We are using the base profile, so we are not basically changing the profile. Then will be the integrator. integrator you have options like chart browser if your ecdis is directly connected with the internet you can directly order your charts online next will be the navigation mode navigation mode is basically the mode in which you will view your whole screen next will be file manager file manager has a lot of options the routes the routes in text marks user charts okay marks user charts <coughs> reports watch and over logs screenshots replays replays profile and system information so if you want to transfer any uh, any file from one side to the other you will be using the in the integrator mode and you will be going to file manager then the next will be restore the system settings back to uh, how it was com commissioned on the vessel update the software update software is basically for uh, your service provider to do it technician will come and do it service menu again it is by uh, the service technician replay mode will enable you to replay uh, a specific date same like your uh, data recorder you will just get a replay of which or date and time you select then the communication manager communication manager is for basically uh, your connections and system shutdown if you want to restart the system you can directly shut down the system from system shutdown all you can use these uh, it's dark so you can use this green button and brilliance will be under this just for making this video i have kept this brilliance as on the higher side normally the ecdis should work on a brilliance of minus you can see in between there is a green ecdis the ecdis will ecdis ecdis will become green
this is how your system should work but because I'm shooting the video I kept it as at the maximum brightness so these are uh, all the menus that comes up in integrator mode I'll show you how to transfer the files as we go along next one will be the cursor wherever I keep my uh, cursor and click it <coughs> that cursor position in relation to my vessel what is the bearing and distance as well as the cursor position on the chart this much information will come up on this part of the screen next will be the modes day mode dusk mode night mode keep it at a day now coming to the bottom of the screen you will see the icon depth or height which is in meters because we had selected it is meters and uh, the datum as WGS 84 again on top of it you will be able to see STD that will be the standard display if I click this option the display goes to standard I will just show you you can see all um, soundings everything will go away then comes uh, north up true motion standard display and you will see three the scale written here since I had selected a scale that is not correct to this chart that is a natural scale of this chart it is shown as yellow so 1.5 would be the natural scale of this chart so this is the natural scale of this chart next coming down you will I will just change it back to uh, all display so basically we have got back all our uh, soundings next will be the chart settings no sorry go to ship once I click go to ship the screen if I had offset it the vessel will come back to the center of the screen you can see it has come back to the uh, center of the screen next will be the chart settings chart settings you have options like IMO categories styles filters root objects with time limit user defined objects and nav text messages and the next <coughs> screen will be chart products so under chart display IMO categories I have options for base standard and custom so if I click all everything will come so I'll just show you how base looks like if I click the base the display will change to base everything will be uh, deleted from the screen and only <coughs> the base screen will be shown next the standard if I click the standard minimum markings will come up then custom under custom I can define what all comes under customs so standard everything will come up then I can take out drawing lines boyas boundaries you can see as I keep uh, selecting an option options keep reducing chart scale boundaries cautionary notes routing and furry routes archipelagic sea lanes miscellaneous unknown so once I unselect everything it goes back to basically the base and if I select all everything comes up and in all I will have an option for show shallow water patterns I will keep it as on draw depth areas in two shades I have selected the four uh, shades you can see as soon as I select two shades the light blue blue white colors will change this will be the option that will come up I will only have two shades next will be I will keep it back as uh, four shades next will be so isolated dangers in shallow waters so isolated danger marks won't come up then important text other text accuracy that will be my cat sock 
so catsock i might be needing for my calculations then full light areas light line sorry because in this chart there is nothing uh, that is getting unselected you won't be able to see most of the things that is shown date dependent objects date dependent objects are objects that are basically depending on dependent on the date so uh, for a specific uh, date that object will be valid so if i so highlight date dependent objects the ones that are valid for that day will get highlighted then so highlight info again i am unable to show you anything that is cha getting changed here so highlight documents so these are the options that will come up under all then the things that comes up under uh, chart display will be style you can have simplified or traditional points and area boundaries as symbolized or plain we'll keep it as traditional and symbolized then the filters the scan in filters and enable symbol filters scan in is basically your scale minimum so if i keep the scan in on what happens is for an appropriate scale they will try to take out uh, objects that are not that are going to clutter the screen so if i keep this on what happens is i might miss out some options so it is basically good enough to keep the scan in filter as off then the root under the root the cross track so planned course and speed so wheel over line so a beam line so parallel indexing line uh, in this uh, e globe g2 exists you will have the options for parallel indexing along with your uh, passage plan itself in the planning mode itself you can see for a reference i had drawn two three parallel index lines here let's check it out okay, okay this this was a parallel indexing line <coughs> and see this line so this will go away once i click parallel index next will be the objects with time limits so i had kept it as for the current date then user defined objects so dangerous objects so other objects dangerous objects is once it is a user defined object this is if i had uh, i had made a, a user chart and i had kept it as dangerous then this will come up the dangerous object will come up and other objects so let me show you here Uh, not, you can see my normal user chart has vanished it will come back now and dangerous object since there was no dangerous object that i had kept so it won't be there if i had kept something as a uh, user on the user chart as a dangerous object it might have been shown here so i'll keep both on for the moment because that is practical for us then will be the nav text messages now it is again so dangerous objects so all other objects because my uh, exdis is connected with the navtex it is getting the feed directly from the navtex i don't have to plot anything it automatically comes up here so these are the options that can come under chart settings chart settings are on the bottom of the screen again the chart products in the chart products in encs inland encs AIO. If I I kept it as AIO off because it was cluttering the screen. So if I keep the AIO on, if there was any uh, overlay, it would have come up here. Then ARCS and show chart boundaries. These are the options uh, th that will come under chart settings. Next option is to pick the screen. Let me recenter my vessel and go back to. 1.5 natural scale 